Hey everyone. Evening. You ready for some noise? Yes. <laughs> Long as it's joyful. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling up the vintage where the grapes of earth are stored. He has loosed the lightning of his terrible so sore. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His, his truth is marching on. Sounding forth a trumpet that will never sound retreat. He is sifting, oh, sorry, sifting out the heart. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. I told my wife it's hot and gonna get hotter. I also had told her that I usually tell you a joke, but I didn't have one. So Look at her, I embarrass her. She said, well, I'll tell you a clean, dirty one. <laughs> what was it, just a pig fell in the mud? <laughs> but I will tell you, I call him Brass, Brasser Bob. Did, I told John, he did send me a message in there. Hey, wait, we can't hear you. You need a little more mic. Uh-huh. Bob's on his way back. He's oh. in, in Ohio. They're, they're back into Ohio, so... I told him, he said he was praying for me. I said, well, I'm praying for you too. Thank you, brother. But, uh, yeah, oh, she got even. <laughs> but, okay, uh, and both the Sunday school this morning and uh, Paul's message was really good because, you know, we all do go through a lot. But, uh, okay, at first I'm going to read Micah 6, chapter 6, verse 8. Just one verse there, and then we'll pray. And, and it is warm, but like I said, I always make it hotter. I get nervous. When people don't believe you get nervous, but you do. <laughs> but uh, Micah chapter 6, verse 8 is, He has showed thee, O man, what is good, and what doth, doeth the Lord require of thee but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. Let's have a word of prayer. <clears throat> Dear Lord and our Heavenly Father, we do thank you for this Lord's Day and thank you for this church and thank you for your Son first and most of all, Lord. And do pray you forgive us where we fail you and pray for pastor and wife as they're traveling, keep them safe and uh, pray for all those that uh, don't know you to come and know you, Lord. We have so many family and friends that way. We just pray for all those and Pray that each one be with us tonight, be saved or get saved, Lord. And we thank you for your word and for each and every blessing. We give you all the honor, the praise, and the glory. In thy loving son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. But there is, a, and the Lord has showed us what is good. Amen? Amen? I mean, what's good, what's proper, what is right and does require us to do. But as it said it there, it's like, uh, do it justly. And uh, that is, and you probably know that, but that's to do things, you do work and stuff for Him, to do it honestly and properly. Amen? And faithfully, truly, by obedience and love. Walk and work spiritually, as I say a lot, with and for the Lord. Amen? Amen. And, and since I told, her about, told you guys about a joke she told me, I'll tell you that she did do a good job with that Jeep. Because, you know, she went into a person's yard, and I got up and got her out of there in like 10 minutes. 15 because it was close to home but she actually called them went back to them told them if they needed anything done to that yard 
let us know. Absolutely. And she said a lot of people said, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> no, that's the right thing that's too, the amen. Thing. But uh, it is to do things right for the Lord. And I say, we, we go quickly, but Matthew, and you don't have to turn to all these, Matthew 22. And like 37 through 40. A lot of verses, but we go smoothly and quickly and praise the Lord. Matthew 22, and it's 37 through 40, I believe, I said. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. And commandments, we all know what those are, and again... To do all things properly and right or as righteously for God and to do proper things for each other if we can. And that's what like testimony, this church is good. We all love each other, do people interest each other and talk to each other and welcome them. And, and it's a blessing, it really is. And, uh, and I'll go to Galatians chapter 5. And just a couple verses there. I'll read verses like, because uh, I even asked my wife, should we turn on the outside light or are we going to get home before dark? <laughs> Stays light a lot darker, or now, though, a lot later. But uh, Matthew 12, Galatians 5, here I go again. Galatians 5, and it's just uh, verse 22 is, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering gentleness, goodness, faith, you know all those things. Like fruit is, is rewards. Love is the Lord. The Lord loves all. Amen? Amen. And uh, joy be delightful. And the one that's in this verse that will remind you of Phil is what? Somebody started to say it. Long suffering. Yeah. <laughs> patience. That's long suffering. Patience. But that is, it's just... All those rewards that you get, so many things, once you accept the Lord, you get so many. And, you know, it's not all, like, you get so many things happening to you, you don't know why. But it is a blessing that you get all those things, and you can have some patience, like I said. But a lot of rewards, blessings, receive the rewards just for that. And that is a blessing, amen? I mean, and then verse 25 right there. In the same thing is uh, losing my mind, ain't I? Where's I go? <laughs> Five, and 25. Five, 22, and 25. It must even this Bible turned on its own. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Amen. And that's, that's exactly it. Live for God, work for the God. Faithfully and spiritually. Amen? That's what, we, you know, and I've said that before. That's, that's what we're to do. But then go to Colossians. Colossians. I told her I was going to say Micah as Micah. Because you know how I said it last week. That one always gets me. Oh, come on, please. I told her I'm losing my mind. She doesn't believe it, but... Don't do it, I've done it. It's not Well, it can be true. Um, but all the things we try to do is try to do right. And this, this is a different Bible for me, but Colossians, Colossians 3, 14 and 7 through 17. And again, and above all these things put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts. To the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching, admonishing one another in psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father of Him. And that's what I was saying, just things that we should do, amen? And like charity, what's charity? Love. 
That's love, and love is a good will of your heart that you get and you try to do all things for the Lord. Do it all spiritually, faithfully, properly, lovely. But what do you got to do first? Get saved, amen? I mean, because once you get saved, you have salvation. Your heart definitely will change and be better. Love as we, sure, for a lot. I mean, because, like I said before too, let your light shine. That's what you were supposed to do. Do all, do all in the name of Jesus. Thanking God for His Father. I mean, that's what He's doing. And that's what we're to do, is try to do the right things. Amen? And uh, like First Peter, I said, and there's a lot of verses, but they're all, they're all about a lot of the same things, about what we do or what we should do. What we should do for the Lord. We shouldn't, I've said that before, like just saying, pray, Lead the, lead the songs, whatever you do, pray songs. I mean, whatever you do, doing for the Lord. Try to do the right things. And First Peter four eight is another. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Amen. And naturally, fervent charity means a large amount of love and faith as possible, which love from God will help you. As so much. His love will help us be good and cover our sins. As it says. Amen? Amen. So we are to show true love as much as possible. To God. To each other. And count our blessings. Let our, like I always say. Let your light shine. And, and that's what we do. And things we don't have is to turn. You know like. Do the right things. Do we do it all the time? No, and even Pastor Bob will say, you know, we still sin. He'll say he sins. That's, that's what we do. But you come to know the Lord, you definitely look forward in better things. In uh, 1 Corinthians, First Corinthians, uh, like Paul and I was talking this morning, sometimes it's hard to read our own writing. Yeah. <laughs> 1 Corinthians uh, 13. And a couple of verses there. I think the first one I'll read is like six. And it's like rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice, rejoiceth in truth. And you know what iniquity means, right? But rejoice in truth. It means rejoice not in iniquity, like you don't rejoice in, as I know I've said up before, you don't rejoice in sins, you know. And guilty stuff, quilted stuff, stuff that you shouldn't do. Don't rejoice in that. But that's what, rejoice in faith. God is the truth. Amen? Amen. He's, he is the facts of life, especially what life? Eternal life. And with salvation, I mean, that is something that I know I say we look forward to. And verse 13 in the same one tells you, And now abideth faith, hope, charity, and out of these three the greatest is charity. It is love. I mean, we get so much from the Lord. And I know, as I said in the message last week, you know, it's hard sometimes to wait. Things you need, things you want. But the Lord is in control, and He is love. Amen. Amen. And that's what it is. I mean, as I said, and now abideth in faith, hope, charity, all three. The greatest is love. So we try to remain that way. Remain faithful with love. And then we'll go to First John. Clear back by Revelation, right? First John chapter 4, just a couple of verses there. Yes, first John chapter 4, and I'm going to read 7 and 8. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. And true, I mean, to have real love for another, we have to know God. Amen? I mean, it's some people, I mean, I still, I mean, Bob will tell me all the time, Bill, be nice, you know. Because <laughs> we're humans, you know, but to love each other is what you're to do. Have real love for one another, have known God, be saved as your priority, then to have the, that charity, that love. God is love. And you'll have a great love in your heart with salvation. But know God except His Son. And you know love because God is love. 
But, I mean, there's a lot of things that can drive you a little crazy. And I'll have people even tell me that. But uh, what is it, verse 8, 2, is, uh, He that loveth not knoweth, He that loveth not knoweth not God, because God is love. Not knowing God, you know, and being saved, I always say the main thing, salvation. We definitely were not probably as happy, as much love, as easy to love, or even, or even being lovable. I mean, one of our God's accessional or whatever, one of His biggest things is, one of His biggest natures is, what? Love. I mean, it really is. It's a, and then you get a blessed heart, a blessed life. And I say it again, you get that eternal life, which definitely is something to look forward to. I mean, better days ahead. I always say that. And, but like I said, I know, and I could go on and on about that, but we're all different before we were saved. Amen? That's right. I mean, and then Matthew 7. Matthew 7 and just uh, one verse, I believe, there. And this is something that I've heard pastors say too. Is It's uh, verse 21. 721 will say, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. So we do the will, but we must be saved. Amen. You must have salvation. I always say that's the main course. Do the will of the Lord properly. Like I said, working for Him. As we say, singing, praying. But get saved and then try to do everything spiritually and faithfully. Faithfully. And uh, as I told, pastor was talking to me last Sunday and he says, you're like you're losing your voice. And that's when we was doing communion. I said, well then don't ask me to pray because I'm losing my voice. And he actually texted me later. Is your voice getting better? I said, it does come and go. But, but yes, do the will of the Lord. You know, be saved and doing spiritually, faithfully work for the Lord is the main thing. And I know I've read these a lot too, but like John chapter 14. I think Bob read a few of those this morning even. And these, I believe, will always remind my wife of her mom because that was her favorite one, some of them. But like one through four is, let not your heart be troubled, you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And whether I go, you know, and the way you know. Amen. And that's, amen. That is a blessing just to look for. And that's Jesus talking. And this is one of those Bibles that don't even have all the red in it. But you know what it is. It's... It is. It's like Jesus talking about God, His Father, and what we can receive for knowing Him, for accepting Jesus, for having salvation. So we know where we can go and how we can go. Amen? Amen. And uh, so we're moving right on. And these ones you don't have to turn to because they're short. Like Matthew 24, 42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. That's right. And uh, Matthew 25, 13 is real similar. It says, watch therefore, watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Amen. And the Son of Man? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus coming back. And we look forward to that. Amen. And, you know, like I am, and I... I'll get her going again. No. I'm like a broken record, you know? And I asked her what a broken record do you, what do you do with that? Fix it? Nope. Throw it away. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes I feel like a broken record because you tell the same things. But we need to be saved and do a good, living, loving thing. And that's what I told her. I said, it was laid on my heart like LLL. Living, loving, leaving. And she said, I think you've did that before. I said, what? Even or the message, you know? <laughs> no, 3L message or something, I think, years ago or whatever. But, but we do, you know. We need to do our living and our loving for God. Once you have that salvation, 
that eternal life to look forward to. I mean, it really is. As we say, it's great. I mean, you get new, almost like you're a new person. I know I have, and I've probably said that up here. One time, uh, an older lady that passed away, and I did her funeral, and I ran into so many people out there that we used to do things that, before I was saved, they were like, wow, you know. They were really surprised. Are you really filled? I said, yes. And that, and that helped at least one of them come to know the Lord because they couldn't believe it, and it was their mom's funeral and stuff. So the Lord is a head of love. I mean, it is. It is, I have said. As I say, we great. And we look forward to that eternal heaven. I mean, eternal life in heaven. It's like family reunion, amen? I mean, for the ones that went there anyways. For all the ones we're praying for to get saved and stuff. And, uh, but that is the main thing. Like I, I said, how we live. We try to live for the Lord, do the right things for the Lord, and then love. And I definitely, it had a broken record, but I know before we were saved, it wasn't as easy to love us or for us to love you. Yep. I mean, there was crazy days, and we could go on and on about that. Yeah. But, as some will say, we'll read what some of my favorite verses and close it out. Because what do we look forward to? I look forward to His return. Amen. I mean, amen. amen. Every day is a good day because you, like some people will say, why, another dollar? No, 50 cents. Yeah. But it's another day. But I do look forward to His return. And how many know which verses we're going to? First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. I should have brought my old Bible that was falling apart even. At least it's easier to... Once you know your Bible, it's hard to switch. It is. First Thessalonians 4. And I think we even read it to the nursing home last time, wasn't it? Because we talked to them and, and they love to hear that because you don't have what? It doesn't, won't be the same. But First Thessalonians 4, and I'll just read like I believe it is, 13 through 17. <clears throat> but, you know, I know I've read them a lot because I, I say that because it says, I would not want you to be ignorant. And that's not just dumb, it's want you to understand. And that's what, you know, praise the Lord that we can understand our life's manual more and more. The pastor, this church, it is a blessing. Amen. But, uh, 13, as I said, but it would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. And you know, those are the ones that sleep, those are the ones that's already passed on and went with him, went to him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord, shall not prevent them, prevent them which are asleep, which they will come first, is what that means, and you probably know that. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. And we read them verses like we don't know when, and I know pastor will even say it could happen tonight, could happen tomorrow. But the way the world is, can't do that very well, but it can happen any time. For the way we say unto you by the word of the Lord, like I said, 15, which are alive and remain under the coming of the Lord shall not prevent. We will not go before them. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together, excuse me, with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Amen. And I know it's good days, but I do pray for His return. I look forward to that. I mean, hey, we're not all old and crazy, but don't we look forward to that? Amen. That is definitely going to be good. And it says, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And I try to comfort people that don't come to church with those words and tell them that, you know. Especially if they think they're already having bad days. Get saved, you're going to be better days. I mean... It's what it is, and we look forward to that. Amen. But, like I said, it was just mainly about how we're living, loving, and then if we're leaving, where we're going. 
Let's have a word of prayer. And when Adolf come up, we'll close out. <coughs> Dear Lord and our Heavenly Father, we do thank you for your word, for your son, and for his love, Lord. And we do pray that we could do the right things and, and live for you and love for you and each other and just do the right things, Lord. And we do pray again for Pastor, for all those that need lifted up spiritually and physically. And I thank you that you know their needs and that you are in control of love and each and everything, Lord. And I thank you for this church and just pray you be with each and every one. If there are ones that needs any prayer or needs saved, pray, please come on up and we'll pray with you, Lord, and with them. And we thank you and praise you. In thy loving son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. God bless you, buddy. Thank you. We'll sing a little and then close out again. Okie dokie. How about...